now in the neighborhood of Yamin Moshe, just outside the walls of the old city of Jerusalem, adjacent to the neighborhood called Mishkanot Sha'ananim, which was the first neighborhood built outside the walls of Yishalayim. Um, and of course, it's, it's called Yamin Moshe after uh, Moshe Mantafiori, the famous philanthropist who uh, was involved with building the, and giving the money towards the neighborhoods, the first neighborhoods outside of the, the walls. He was the first Jew to, to purchase a pardes, an orchard in Israel. And what's lesser known, uh, because there are many neighborhoods named, named after Moshe Metafuri, Yemin Moshe, Kiyat Moshe, Oel Moshe, but the one who really was the driving force behind Moshe Metafuri was of course his wife, his wife Judith. Um, Judith was an English woman, uh, daughter of a very, very prominent family uh, from England, and she was actually the source of his wealth. Uh, came from her family, and she was a a fervent uh, lover of, of Eretz Yisrael. Always accompanied her husband. Um, they were married for 60 years, and uh, she kept a diary, a magnificent diary, a magnificent historical document um, describing her love of Eretz Yisrael her descriptions of her visits to Eretz Yisrael when they came to Kever David and then went down to the Kotel, which obviously looks very different then than it looks today. And what a beautiful description of her love of Eretz Yisrael. Um, she is actually buried in Ramsgate uh, on the, the uh, estate of the Montefiore family and her Kever, and you will show you a picture of it, is actually built as a replica of Kever Rachel. And she was a modern-day Rachel Imenu, uh, crying and yearning to be reunited with, with the Jewish, her, Jewish people. Unfortunately, they did not have any children. But we benefit today. Um, the beautiful Yemen Moshe was beautiful when it was originally built. It was actually, this was a place for poor people to, couldn't afford the inside the walled cities. They were built, they lived outside, and so they were provided for here. But then after uh, 1967, the Israeli government decided to rebuild Yemin Moshe. It's now one of the most magnificent neighborhoods anywhere, certainly in Shalayim. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm sure many of you walk the streets here, just one breathtaking uh, scene after another.